drugstore has amazing products. You can't go wrong with their bronzers. So one of them that I really, really like, and I love the packaging, that's why I bought it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about my most favorite bronzers that I own, that I've tried and tested. I have some from the drugstore and some more high-end. So if you would like to know what my favorite bronzers are, please consider subscribing, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, and let's get into the video. So let's start with the high-end bronzers. So for high-end bronzers, I'm gonna start with this very high-end, which is the Gucci one. You guys know that I already have a review on this on my channel. Now, this is a beautiful pressed powder. This is what it looks like. It's just so gorgeous. It is good for all skin types. It has a very nice, light, pleasant smell. I know some, some people could be bothered by the smell. It has a more of a perfumey smell, but once you apply this to your cheeks, it, the smell just disappears. You don't even smell it at all. Now, this has a soft, silky texture that is like creamy to the touch. Very, very beautiful, very pigmented. Mine is in the shade 02 and I bought mine in the shade darker because when I buy darker, like I said, I just apply um, a little bit and um, not have to always go in and reapply things. I'm looking out the window right now because there's a squirrel that's just visiting me right now at my window. <laughs> Anyways, now this is a very thin film formula and it's very easy and light to apply. So I definitely recommend this. However, it the downside is that it's very expensive, around $80 Canadian, Damn! I believe. So anyways, if you like to see this in action, I have a review on my channel. I can link that video down below. Now, next high end, this is the Kosas Concealer. Look at this. This is, has been one of my favorites. I've been gravitating to this product so much. I love the packaging. Mine is in the medium golden bronze. Even the title golden bronze makes you just want to use it. Now, this contains she butter and the she butter moisturizes and smooths your skin. So that's what one thing good about it. Also contains metal foam oil. Now the metal foam oil, like it usually locks in the moisture and plumps your skin. So it is just so beautiful. Now the only downside for this one is that the smell, it has kind of like Mm, I don't know, not a very good scent, you know, but once you apply it, it goes away. So don't worry about that. That's the only downside about this. This is moisturizing. It is talk free. It's a very weightless powder. It gives you that really nice sun-kissed glowy look. I'm not wearing this today, but I just love, love, love this bronzer so much. And it gives you that nice, warm, beautiful glow. So I definitely recommend this bronzer. It is more affordable than the Gucci one, and it's a lot in this packaging. This is six grams, so very, very beautiful. Okay, my next high end is, of course, the big, beautiful Shell Charlotte Tilbury. This is the airbrush bronzer, and mine is in the shade two. I don't like it that it's actually like peeling off or scratching off, so it's very hard to yeah, medium brown, shade two. So you can see, I don't like that about that, but it's just such a beautiful packaging otherwise with a big, nice mirror, big bronzer in the pan. Now this is a nice natural matte bronzer. You can barely see it on my finger here or beside the Gucci one, you can see very, very light. This is infused with hyaluronic acid, which it's amazing to have that in my makeup products. 
it's also very good for all skin types it actually this powder blends in with the skin it gives it that nice warm natural look however it also blurs any type of imperfections that you have on your skin so that's a very good one now the Kosas doesn't have a mirror if you guys were wondering the Gucci of course has a mirror the Charlotte Tilbury has a mirror as well in case I didn't mention that now let's move on to my next one now my next one it has been pretty new in my collection and I have been testing it out and I am just loving it and that's of course the Patrick Ta and mine is in the shade she's sculpted and this is the Patrick Ta dual bronzer so it comes here with a cream contour and a powder bronzer it comes with this lid to protect the cream from being contaminated with the powder now this is more of a modern way to sculpt your face because you can you apply the contour first to your cheeks then you go ahead on top with the powder and you blend everything in and you continue um, bronzing your face it really shapes and defines your whole face and your whole look very beautifully. The cream shade, it shapes your and sculpts your face, while the powder one, it finishes your look with a hint of warmth. So they look so beautiful. It looks more grayish, more dark, but look at my complexion. This shade is perfect for very light complexion. It just gives you a very nice sun-kissed look. The shades inside look darker, but they apply very nice and very warm to the face. Now my next product is again more of a high-end product, but it's a cream bronzer. And what I'm talking about, as you can see, it's very nicely used. Like I said, this one obviously comes with a mirror as well. And this is the Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer. It's so beautiful. It's like a nice one of those rocks that you throw into the lake and bounces. This is what this one looks like. Look at this. So this is a cream bronzer, as you can see. Look how pigmented that is. Isn't that beautiful? Now, again, this one comes with a mirror. Very nice. Very nice mirror. Now, this is vegan and this is waterproof. Yeah, this is a waterproof cream bronzer. It's very buildable, so you go slow at first and slowly build it up to the deepness that you prefer. And this gives you that perfect just back from the beach type of glow so I really love this bronzer and because it's more creamy it is a little bit more natural on your cheeks and on your face as it blends into the skin because it's more it's like creamy formula now this one I don't know if you guys knew it has marine plant extracts and those actually help reduce the appearance of fine lines on your skin and it also smoothens and softs your skin so it's just a very great bronzer this one when you touch it like you can't even tell that it's a cream but it does apply as a cream and it dries off as a powder on your face so it gives you a very nice matte looking finish again sun kiss type of finish now those are my one, two, three, four, five high-end bronzers that I always gravitate to and I really, really love. But for the ones that prefer to shop at the drugstore, drugstore has amazing products. You can't go wrong with their bronzers. So one of them that I really, really like, and I love the packaging, that's why I bought it. It's the City Bronzer by Maybelline. Look at this beautiful packaging. And I got mine in the shade 200, so pretty. Of course, it doesn't come with a mirror, but it's okay. That's not a deal breaker. A very nice, natural looking bronzer. When you apply it to the face, it gives it that, again, nice, warm, sun kiss type of look. So this is a great bronzer from the drugstore. My next one from the drugstore, is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Now, I have both of these shades. These are the original ones. I didn't buy the new one. This is the Murumuru Butter Bronzer right here. And of course, this is the 
light bronzer in the same shade so I have both shades and they both work beautifully as you can see this was my first one and I almost created a dent in the middle and I have been using this one as well they both have that nice beachy Hawaiian type of smell it is just beautiful on the face this one is a little bit deeper this is more lighter however they both give you the same effect on your face a nice glowy sun-kissed look so definitely recommend this which I'm sure everybody recommends this one and the one that I'm wearing on the face today and I really love it it's the Cold Beauty bronzer and this is the bronzing powder in the shade natural 1018 it's five grams in here only downside is the packaging but if you have longer nails it's harder to pick this and take it off but look at this it has that nice cue in the middle look at that beautiful shade and that's what I'm wearing today as you can see how beautiful it blends into the skin and warms up the skin tone on your face it's just beautiful I just love this bronzer it's a tiny one Another downside is that you can only find it in Canada at Shoppers Drug Mart, but the rest you can find everywhere. So this is the only one that you can find in Canada only, but I love all of these bronzers. So make sure you comment down below and let me know what your favorite bronzer is that you always gravitate towards to, um, whether it's from the drugstore or high end, I would love to hear your thoughts or any other bronzers that you guys recommend I would love to hear because I'm obsessed with bronzers as you guys know bronzers and blushes are my favorite so yeah I would love to hear from you guys so if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next one love you guys bye